In this tutorial I'll show how to make this three-dimensional image type of pot jump out the uh, or pop out. Advertisements in newspapers and magazines for 3D television have the only way of doing it is to show this format here as though it's jumping out of the frame. Now I'll, I'll show this in the least number of moves. I'll close that off in our Lodo image. Only a few minutes, there's our image. Now I've got to create a new layer and it's got to be a transparency. So I make sure that the transparency uh, radio button has been chosen. I click OK. Now I go to my rectangular select tool and select an area around the car. The, the, the area needs to have show a little bit of the car sticking out. There'll be more with that when we do our adjustments. So I click on there. Now I'm going to paint it white, so make sure white is chosen. I, I click the little uh, swinger there and it swings the, to white. I go to the bucket fill and fill that selection. Now I'm going to uh, shrink that selection by a certain amount. I'm going to shrink. Now sometimes you will, depending on your image, it'll be the type of the shrink. This one's not a very big large image, so I'm just only shrinking it by 18, which is Will give a reasonable frame. I click OK. Now that that image has been selected with inside the, the outer frame, I can delete that now. I can hit the delete key, I can go and cut it out, or I can use the clear function on the edit menu. So I'll, I'll just cut it out in this case. And it's been cut out. Now it's still in selected with inside the frame. I need to select the outside of the frame. I click there and select the outside of the frame, the white frame. That should do just a little bit up the top there. We don't want to leave any white left. It doesn't really matter because all that up, up the top will be uh, pretty much the same. So I go to my perspective tool and click on there. Now I've told the perspective tool what area I want to work on. I just move that up to about there to give the car a little bit of it as though it's jumping out of the frame. You could do this with other things as well like sport. You can have a baseball player hitting a ball and the ball will be coming out of the frame or the or the, um, the baseball player part of his body be coming out of the frame as well. So I'm just going a little bit overboard there. You click OK or transform. Now I've transformed it now it creates a floating layer, so I need to anchor that layer. That's the little symbol down here, which is called the floating anchor layer. So I click on there, and now it's anchored the layer. I turn my opacity down to about about that, which is about 61% or 70, 65 or 70. It's just so you can see beyond the uh, the white border. I go to my erase tool. Now it's still in white, which is what I need and I can erase that part of the image around there and so it'll give you the appearance that it's jumping out from out of the car the car's jumping out depending on how far you bring it down that one there, it, that's about right, I don't want to go any further now I turn my opacity back up to 100% and there's uh, layers and, and masks, they put other masks and layers in there and then use the eraser to erase the background from around that image what I'm going to do here is uh, uh, merge the layers. So I'll come down here and merge down with the layer. And that's made it all one image now. So I go to the, uh, the scissors and select around the edges of the frame and around the car as well where I want to remove what is on the image. Got to be careful with the scissors. Sometimes it gets a bit carried away with the, with the other colours in the image. The other time I was doing this it wanted to jump onto the white line of the road. Come along here to the, the number plate. Now I, I need some of the shadow to give the appearance that it's, it's still part of the car coming out of the image. So I grab the, uh, the shadow up here and then around the frame. Now this makes it nice and easy there up the top and then click there which completes my selection now just hit enter now that's selected 
but it's selected the inside of that frame where I've been working. Now I want to swing that selection around so I go to invert on the select on the on the menu I click on the select and invert the selection. Now let's put the marching ants as they call it on the outside of the image. Now once again I can delete or cut it out so I'll just cut it out. Now it's cut it out of the frame. Now you've got your jumping image. I go to select so I can select none, turn the selection off. Now I go to layer and make a new layer. Make sure it's another transparency. I come over to my layers here and I, I need to move that layer below the car layer, the background layer. So the new layer is now below the car. So it's selected which means it's at the working layer. Don't put it on the top one, it must be the working layer there. Now I go to my blend tool and I choose a blend. Uh, in this case I don't want too much red because there's a red, the car's red so I'll, I'll just pick on a green such as that and then I'll just draw from corner to corner, you can go either way and let it go. And now I need to go to the top and reselect that top layer and then I can go to layers and merge down. And it's completed our task. The, uh, you can just save your image as it is. You can see now that the, the shadow is still working with, with the image. This is uh, 235 Blue Fox. Uh, thank you for watching.